Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanted to come out here and talk about this story. And it's coming from our third favorite state, crazy ass California. So what's going down in crazy California, you ask? What's going down is that we have this young woman. Her name is India Ali and she's 32 years old. And basically, she wants to warn women about a situation that went down with her on Instagram. So what happened is that a month ago, she met this young man on Instagram. He's 27 years old. His name is James Barker. And basically, she saw his Instagram profile. He was dressed well. He looked like he had it going on. He had the latest this, the latest that. So she felt comfortable, you know, basically contacting him. And they started talking via DM. And so eventually after talking to him for about two months or so on social media and on the phone, they decided to set up a date and, you know, meet up with each other. So they basically met up and they were posting pictures of themselves and video of themselves, you know, out on the town, having a good time. She was definitely drunk. You could tell from the video. I don't know if he possibly might have slipped something into her drink to make her, you know, even more drunk. But you can definitely tell that she's kind of out of it. So the next thing she knows is that she basically wakes up in the morning at a hotel near LAX and she's lying in a pool of throw up and there's blood all over the room. Her clothes are off. She had been beaten severely. She had also been raped. This entire situation was so chilling. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this news clip. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Well, Mike and Cher, yes, the victim shares with us how dating a handsome stranger that she met on social media nearly cost her her life. Well, Mike and Cher, yes, the victim shares with us how dating a handsome stranger that she met on social media nearly cost her her life. She was badly beaten, and doctors say that her condition was so serious, it almost resulted in death. An instant dream date turns into an instant nightmare. It has beat me up. And instead of texting and tweeting her friends the next morning, this is Indy Ali's scared and desperate 911 call. There's blood all over the room. Like many digital daters, the model met James Baker online after a dynamic DM popped up in her inbox. He didn't really look like a creep from his pictures. He looked like he had had it going on or something. And with so much access to personal pics, videos, and likes, a one-time social media stranger can quickly feel like a friend. Last July, the 32-year-old made plans to meet offline. The duo drank a lot. Baker posted this video on Instagram from their date. You can tell India is tipsy, while Baker has a much more sobering, if you will, look on his face. She says she doesn't remember leaving the restaurant, has no recollection of their ride back to the LAX area, which Baker also posted videos of on Instagram. Nor could she fathom going up to his hotel room that night. It was horrible. I, I woke up there. When I lifted my head up there, was I was laying in, in a puddle of throw up. So I look around and I see blood everywhere and my clothes everywhere. She says she had been beaten to a bloody pulp and couldn't believe her reflection when she caught a glimpse of herself in the bathroom mirror. Oh my God, I can't believe that happened and what if they come back and kill me? Since her cell phone and car keys were both gone, she used the hotel phone to call for help. So they just beat you up? There's blood all over the room. Where, where are you hurt, ma'am? I'm hurt in my face. Indy was rushed to UCLA Medical Center where doctors determined she suffered significant head injuries. Her veins bridging the skull to the brain had torn, and her brain had shifted on its axis. In essence, what had happened is she'd been punched in the head so badly that it had caused um, a swelling in the brain. The brain, when it expands, has nowhere to go, so it forces down, and that's what triggers the vomit uh, action. It pressures the fourth vertebrae. The LAPD used her Find My iPhone app and within a few hours tracked Baker down. He was found with her phone in her car at a Marriott Hotel in El Segundo, just a few miles from the Westin. Police would also discover a video of him leaving the Westin that morning around 2 a.m. in her car. He has prior convictions out of state and uh, he's also on bail uh, for another offense involving using fake credit cards at the time that he was arrested for this offense. Baker was found guilty. But as for India, she wants her cruel computer connection to be a lesson in today's cyber world. I wouldn't want anybody to go and meet up with anybody that they don't know. Please don't ever do that because your life, you have to value your, your life. 
And Baker's sentencing in this case was postponed this month so that the judge could hear several motions filed by the defense. Now, Baker is also facing several credit card fraud charges in an unrelated case. For now, reporting live here at the airport. All right, so you guys just watched that disturbing news clip. And, you know, the whole situation is just really crazy, especially when the medical examiner came on there and basically said that the reason why she threw up is because he beat her so bad in the head that her brain swelled up and had no place to go but downward, and that's what caused her to throw up and wake up. This woman could have lost her life. I thank God that this damn demonic asshole, James Baker, has been caught and he's in jail. And this just goes to show you that we have to be careful who we talk to and who we deal with on social media. You know, she looked at his persona online and felt that he had money, he had it going on. But come to find out, this dude was not only stealing, but using fake credit cards to buy his wealth and to put on this whole Instagram persona. It's really sad how so many adults feel the need to front on Instagram and and we'll do dirt just to post a picture on Instagram, just to get likes. You know, this whole situation is really disturbing, but this can happen to anybody. You know, I hate when people clown people who meet people online and somehow they feel like their situation is safer because they met a guy at a movie theater. They met him at the gas station. At the end of the day, I don't care if you meet somebody online or you meet them in person. You don't know that person. And I've stated this before in several videos. You're not any more safe than a girl who meets somebody on Instagram or than a man who meets somebody on Plenty of Fish. You never know what people's intentions are for you. You can meet somebody in the street and kind of get a small vibe off of them. But until you start really talking to them and, you know, really engaging with them, that person is a stranger to you just like somebody else online is. So at the end of the day, we had to use discernment. We had to be careful. And I think she, she did the right thing. You know, she talked to him for a while. It wasn't like she hooked up with him after knowing him for two or three days. They talked for about a month or two. She felt comfortable enough to meet with him. They met in a public setting. But where she messed up is that she allowed herself to get drunk with a stranger. She shouldn't have had any drinks with that man. Because she didn't know him from a can of paint. Now, I'm not saying that he couldn't have slipped something into her drink. I'm not saying that. But she herself admitted that she was drinking. And I think when you're first starting to get to know somebody, liquor and drugs should be out of the picture. You need to go meet somebody and be in the clearest mind frame possible. And when you're drunk and inebriated, it's hard for you to be able to fight back or, you know, say words like no. Or to basically say, you know what, I don't feel comfortable. I'm going to go home. So I think... That's where she made the mistake was drinking with this man that she didn't know like that. But I'm really happy that she's okay. And I'm glad that instead of being embarrassed that she's going to the news and that she's telling her story. Because so many times as victims, people get ashamed. They don't want anybody to know. And I think her telling her story is definitely going to help other young women and young girls. You know, it's real out here. The things that people go through, it's crazy. And I think, you know, it's better to learn from somebody else's situation and learn from their mistakes as opposed to repeating them yourself. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing story that's once again coming from Crazy Ass California concerning this woman meeting a man off of Instagram and almost getting beaten to death. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.